So it's Coventry away at the weekend. Let's see how we do. Let's talk about how they've been doing and go from there. Hello and welcome to this video. You could like, share and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciate it. Subscribing helps the channel, liking helps the algorithm, and sharing gets in front of people's faces. Thought I'd do it a little bit differently for a change. We are doing a, a roundup stroke debrief tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, there was meant to be one yesterday, but I was just absolutely shattered from looking at the, the little in yesterday. Um, he's, at the moment, the king of not having any sleep. So, that's fun. Um, so... We are playing Coventry City, who have not had the best start to the season. But that being said, they are never, they're not normally a team that start off well. The slow burners, uh, as they say, they, they seem to start poorly and then slowly come back into it. And that's something we have got to take into account and see what we can do on there. Now, Away performance at the at midweek was good. We got a draw. It stopped the rot a little bit. That's what we wanted. We wanted to stop the rot a little bit, but it would have been nice if we would managed to be a bit more creative like we were in the second half versus Bristol City. Because against Bristol City, we tried a lot better in the second half, but nothing really paid off. We were really struggling. Let's have a look at what Coventry City recorded this season then so two two four that's eight points the 17th in the championship their home record is two zero two so they've got six points at home their way away record is two points two points so that don't matter because they're at home uh they had 11 goals against 13 goals in general and minus two goal difference and their last game was a two nil a three nil loss to blackburn rovers now, I was speaking to a Blackburn Rover fan, and he said Coventry were their bogey team. Always have been. So if you actually look at where Coventry's form are, they're 18th. Draw, two losses. Uh, and that win versus Blackburn Rover, which was much needed. Now, when they are on two draws, a win, and a loss. So close to being identical. Could I say that? Let's have a look. No, they they lost two more and we've drawn two more. There we go. So, yeah, it's interesting. This will be a good one to go into because I actually think the two teams here who we just hopefully could have picked something up, aka Bristol City, we got a point, which was fantastic, and Coventry. Now, we do know Coventry are good at home uh, and their crowd does help back them. We are going to have to be on our A game against them because they are going to want to get that win, go into that international break, and just chill again. Now, we need to go into the international break and hopefully get players back fit. I'm talking to the likes of Palmer and Kabaki. Uh, hopefully, we'll find out a little bit more today. I'm guessing the press conference is going to be today. Uh, if there's a press conference, uh, I will try and get the video up as soon as I can. But having a little one, it's making... It, it's dragging my time a little bit more, which is okay because that's what it's meant to do because he's more important than making the video. But at the end of the day, please bear with me while I try and get into my new routine. There'll be a bit of couple ups and downs while we do it, but hopefully I should get it into a really good rhythm and get into the way of how I do videos. But Sheffield Wednesday got Coventry City at the weekend. How do you think we'll do? Leave a goal line prediction. 7 p.m. tonight, we will be doing a debrief joke roundup. We're going to want to mix it into both. So please be there, and I'll speak to you later.